Guernsey's an island that's got quite a unique landscape to it. Now, if you want stunning beaches with crashing waves, you can find that along the northern coast. And if cliff views are more your forte, then you can head down to the southwest coast where you can find towering cliffs over the crashing sea waves below. And that is exactly where we are today. We've just enjoyed the sunrise over Gerberg. It was absolutely beautiful. And now we're going to enjoy a day of walking along the southwest coast and taking in those breathtaking views. Yeah, and we'll bring you guys along for the ride with us. So literally just as we filmed that intro sequence, this camera's cut out and has stopped working. It's showing like no SD and it's not letting you control the dials or anything. I don't know what's going on with it. That's, that's, that's the life of a travel vlogger, I guess. You've got to roll with the punches and do what you can. All right, now we're kind of looking at that cloud. Literally just said, and we're let's... looking at this outfit. Let's go! And then that's, that's rolled in, so... I think um, sure. the gods are telling us that today's not the day to do this cliff walk, so... Watch this space, guys. We'll be back with you shortly, and uh, we'll explore the cliffs next time, <laughs> all right? All right, good morning, guys. It's a couple of weeks later now. Uh, the camera's all working again, and we are down in St. Peterport. We're going to go and get some breakfast at one of our favourite breakfast spots. It's called the Boathouse. Before, we need to get fueled up before we go on this cliff walk. So it's a sunny day today, and hopefully it all goes smoothly from here, but let's go and get some breakfast. All right, so typical Highlands dynamics. We got in there and they actually said they're not serving breakfast anymore. I think we missed it like by like five minutes. So we're just gonna go a little walk along the high street and then um, see where else we can get for breakfast. I'm starving. All right, so obvious choice for breakfast. What have you got? I'm getting a French bean toasty with tomato and avocado. Sounds good, and what's this? Oh, this is my tropical smoothie. Perfect for the hot weather. What's in it? Is it nice? What's in it? It's just tropical. You need to do some more reading. <laughs> Seafront Sunday, which is when they close off the seafront and sold the markets, live music, good food. However, due to lockdown, that was stopped. And today is the first day that it's back. It's a beautiful day, so we are going to go and check it out before we go on our fifth walk. The cliff walk around the southwest coast of Guernsey officially begins at the Lavalette bathing pools in St Peterport. From here, you can normally head straight up the hill to Fort George and follow the cliffs all the way around to the north side of Guernsey at the Fairy Rings. Unfortunately, at the moment the stairs to Fort George are blocked by a landslide, however you can instead begin your cliff walk at the Val de Terres. Head straight up the pathway beside the road and you will eventually reach Fort George all the same. So we're at our first decision, we're just at the top of the hill and you get to this kind of gateway but I think this leads into a housing estate. Do you know about that? Oh, maybe. It's at the top, it's yeah. where um, the singer George Michael, he's, he used to have a house in there. Did he? Yeah. How do you Proper know that? fancy. Cool. But I think we're going to go down this way and cut yeah. round, follow the coastline all the way round. Yeah, good idea. We've got our first glimpse of the open ocean. On the cliffs. Oh, and there's a bathing pool down there, so we're not even at the collapsed path yet, actually. There's a bathing pool down there. And uh, so if you just keep following this road along, the path that leads up to this path is, actually should be around there. Look how far the tide comes in. Those are such cool pools. It takes you from St Peter Pro all the way around to the north side of the island. It's actually, I think it's about just under 30 miles long which some people can actually nail in a day. However, I'm just a boy, I can't do that. And my legs are very sore from the gym this morning. So we're just gonna try and push on as far as we can. And uh, then we'll catch a bus back into St. Peter Port. Well, that's the plan anyway. But if you are feeling brave, you can walk all the way around the island and it'll probably take you all day long, maybe about 10 hours. So do it on a nice sunny day. It's quite a cool spot on the route. Yeah. It's a lovely view from here, especially when the planes are coming in and out. There's a really nice spot up there that you can just 
the plane over the water and the planes come in and out overhead. Ah, because this is where you used to come and chill out. Yeah. Use the Clarence battery and I think it's just another perfect example of how the, the history in Guernsey is just so insanely rich because it dates back to the 18th century and obviously it was used back then to defend the island and the bay combined with Castle, uh, Castle Cornet um, from invading uh, people. I think it actually dates back to normally it was between the war with France and England and about how um, they helped them during the American Civil War. That seems to be the recurring theme about these types of placements around Guernsey. But there's just literally so much history here, it's insane. I used to always just come and lie on that bench. Admire the view. Yeah, halfway along the cliff. Take a break, have my earphones in, chillax. It is a stunning view though. It is. It's amazing. Yeah. And it's like sheltered. Yeah, exactly. This part of the walk we get to is uh, a lot more sheltered by trees, which on a nice sunny day like today, it's actually a huge relief to not be having the sun beat on you all the time. And I'm pretty sure as you get further around the cliffs, it's a lot more open, there's less wind, and it gets very, very, very hot. So we're admiring the uh, the coolness of the shade just now. We're just coming up to Bluebell Woods, I believe, and it's quite a pretty place. If you go to Bluebell Woods, try and go there for spring. We went there just uh, the beginning of April, I think and uh, the flowers were just starting to come out and it's a really, really beautiful place to go a walk. So many beautiful little birds and then there's Captain Pigeon right above your head. Better watch out. I know, he's so quiet. Oh, what? Maybe not. Oh man, that's the one thing about the cliff walk, is when you need to go down, it just means you need to go back up again. <laughs> but, look at that view. We're back by the sea again, just after Bluebell Woods. I'm pretty sure it's just coastal views from here on. Yep, my legs are burning, but it's all good. <laughs> so it's just another one of the things that you get to enjoy while you're heading along the cliff paths, is just some of the absolutely stunning houses. So you've got the houses on your right, and the cliff views on your left, and the houses are into your just absolutely insane. A proper dream manor material with big windows overlooking the sea. I think one day when this when this channel hits a million subscribers, I think we'll pitch up and uh, buy a house here, guys. So help us achieve that dream, and uh, you can all come round for a house party if you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel down below. So we've got Main Bay bus route. So I think we want to go up that hill there. Cause Although I'm pretty sure you can get to Fermion Bay that way, but let's just follow the sign. <laughs> just in case. <clears throat> As I said, if you go down, you need to come back up, and I am not up for that. Nah. <laughs> and look at that view. That is absolutely spectacular. Oh, we. So down here, I believe, is Fermain Bay. We came down here before. There's a little cafe down here as well. We can go and check out. And, like, look at the colour of that water. That is absolutely spectacular, man. Stunning. All these lucky people with boats. If you've got a boat, guys, give us a wee shout out in the comments and we can come along and uh, enjoy a day on a boat with you. There's a nice drink. Next stop, Jerberg. And we're back up the dreaded staircase. <laughs> so many of these lovely little viewpoints along the cliffs. Just little benches with Beautiful open views across the water. You can see across to Herm. Normally you'd possibly be able to see Sark as well, but today there's a little bit of... Haze. Yeah, haze. Uh, but yeah, beautiful speedboats. You can watch them driving back and forward across the water. And it's very beautiful. peaceful. Beautiful yeah, speedboats. Beautiful speedboats. <laughs> Not the ugly ones. No. <laughs> oh, there's some nice boats out there. You're beautiful. So we reached like a little crossroads junction. One option was to go downhill towards Bec Dunez, which we're not really sure where that is. The other option was to go uphill towards St Martin's, so we thought we'll take the uphill road. road. Um, and now we end up, ended up at this little road, but there is a sign that says right of way to Cliff Walker, so we're hoping that we're still on the Cliff Walk, and um, our aim is to try and get to Jerberg, so we'll see if it takes us that way. That's what we like to see. No, I did and so it continues. Excellent. And then of course you've got the board and old benches or you can have a fun sit down and a very trusting sit down. Oh. I hope that doesn't snap. Will it? 
I don't know. How many cakes have you eaten today? Continuing along the cliffs, you will eventually reach Gerberg Point and finally the beautiful beach of Pitti Port. We decided to call it quits and head back into town for lunch after Gerberg, however, we visited Pitti Port a couple of weeks ago, back when the tide was correct. Here is what we found. Now earlier we, we tried to find the Pitti Port beach last time we were along the cliffs at Gerberg. However, we came at the completely wrong time. We came at high tide and uh, we could not find this beach anywhere. And we think it was because at high tide, basically it's just a stony beach. There's like no sand available at all. So we've come back at a time where it's low tide, it's sunny and we can actually go. And the beach is beautiful. Yeah, so last time we came down here, we were standing here and you could not see sand at all over there. It was just all water. We got down a little bit further and we could only see rocks. So it turns out you need to come at low tide in order to see this golden sands down on Pitti Port Beach. And uh, I think it's going to be the worth the hike down. It's probably going to be another 10 minutes till we reach the bottom. But I'm hoping it's going to be worth it. about halfway down I've had to turn my cap around because it is so windy today so I was hoping to get the drone up but I don't know if I'll be able to do that the view of the beach is behind me and there's a bench right down here that's got a spectacular view overlooking the bay so if you want to bring a picnic and you want to take a little rest here's a place to do it that right there is the tide marks, where those stones are, that's basically where the water comes up to, maybe up a bit further actually, up at high tide, and all of that golden sand is all hidden at high tide, so if you want to get down onto the beach you need to come at low tide, probably about an hour to two hours on either side of low tide would be enough. I also read online recently that apparently along the cliffs here there's been a lot of rock falls recently and just as we were standing there we were taking a little story for Instagram and I heard this massive crash and it must have been from like a, a rock falling off the side of the cliff and landing down on a beach. So if you are coming down to BT Port, try not to sit on, I don't know why you would, but try not to sit on the rocks down underneath the cliff because you've got an entire beach to play with, but just watch out for those rock falls. Now also while we're down here, we saw on Instagram this picture of a cave overlooking the Pitti Port beach, and we're trying to find that. I'm guessing it's where you come down onto the beach and turn along to the right. So we're gonna go hunt along the coast side, trying to steer clear of the cliffs and see if we can find this cave. Yeah, so here it is here. So the Pitti Port Cave. There's the stairs just behind the rocks over there. And here's the cave here. That's where I saw a cracking photo for it on Instagram. We're gonna try and jump in there, recreate it. I don't know if I've got a wide enough lens to really do the justice. And there's your view. If you fancy someone finding somewhere wild to camp down on Pitti Port Beach. Oh, well, you might get stranded at high tide actually, but you can come down here and chill out in this cave and have a little picnic. And yeah, I think that's exactly what I really love about the cliffs around this side of Gerberg on the uh, southeast side of Guernsey. And it's just so raw and rugged and like the cave in here, it's obviously just been formed over thousands and thousands of years, but I've got a natural spring falling through the rocks just behind me. And there's a cracking view over the rocky crags leading out to the Pitti Port Beach. And it is possibly one of the beautiful, most beautiful places on Guernsey, just because of these incredible coastal uh, cliff views. So yeah, we're finished now down at Pitti Port. We chilled out in the sand for a little bit. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to come if you've got the timing right at low tide. However, we now need to tackle these stairs all the way back up. And uh, I think that's gonna be probably the least enjoyable part of the day. What yeah, do you they're think? definitely not suitable if you're unsteady on your feet or if you have a pram or require Or if you're lazy a like us. Uh, we're not lazy. <laughs> I'm excited to get back up those stairs. Good exercise. Alright, you can carry me then. Yeah, on a final note, I would maybe try and bring some decent shoes if you are coming down to the Pitti Port Beach because the first like 100 metres across the beach, it's all just rocks like this. And uh, especially over behind me, those green ones there. And if you're wearing like flip flops or something like that, you're either going to rip the flip flops or you're going to break your ankle. So keep that in mind, guys. And we'll see you in the next part.
important thing, we always come prepared. We've got our cutlery. Do you want to get that out? Yep. So a full set that we've got. These are fantastic. Yep. So handy. And oh, it's completely compostable as well, so that's really good. So we've got two tubs of vegan Thai curry. And that looks amazing. Oh, it does. So good. We're gonna chill out, get stuck into this, and relax, and enjoy the rest of the day down at the Sunday Street Fun Sunday Markets. If you like this video, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more beautiful Guernsey and, of course, travel videos from all across the world, hit that subscribe button and turn on the little notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. We love sharing these days out and these adventures with you guys, and we can't wait to see you again in the next one. Bye.